Hey, welcome back guys. I'm glad you made it. I'm in the car. I'm waiting for Daisy. She's inside looking for something, but I uh, just want to let you guys know. I appreciate you guys showing up. We got a Goodwill bins haul today. And um, if you're new to the channel, we hit the bins. We do little hauls. We do thrift. We find stuff. We rehome these items. When we do the Goodwill hauls, they tend to be quite, quite long. So bear with me as I try to figure out a better way to showcase a lot of stuff. And sometimes it just requires me talking about it. So bear that in mind when we when you see the Goodwill Hauls episodes. They tend to, to linger a little bit longer. It's not your excitement, five minute snapshot of, of what happened. It's almost hard to do it that way. These have to give that duration. So check it out stay tuned here we go and she's finally here But if they're decent, here's one with tags, 2019. Put a strap back, it's clean, a little white down right here. But it's costing me 35 cents at most for a hat. That one seems really light, so if I could get 10 bucks for it. I mean, a couple of those hats will pay for the for the day, right? And that's what we're looking for. Pay for the cart and then 
be able to profit off the rest of the the cart based on what we're taking. Darcy's got little little people action. Good, good. Then it's from this box with this bunch of spring kits and stuff. I don't know. It's already priced. Chain. You know, so something like this maybe my wife can do with like a big lot. On her page on Poshmark, to just you know, save you know, 25 bucks for the box. I'm probably paying by weight, probably gonna be about four bucks. About four Wranglers, I like the look. Yeah, why not? Here's a cool piece right here. Got a bunch of patches, or I don't know if they're patches, but they're 1980s. See, just a bunch of stuff on this. And I'm an Indian, Sequoia, Nation, 1981. Got stuff in the back here. I don't know anything about it, how real it is, or whatever, but I mean, the patches are cool, and someone could probably hang this on the wall. So we'll take it. Okay, well you made it to the recap. Thank you, thank you. So let's start off with uh let's start off over here. So I've got this new in bag. We need a poo set and this I know for a fact goes to one of those uh baby what do you call those things? Oh my god. I can't think of it. But it's for a crib. Or like a little nightlight or uh uh blah, I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it up here somewhere and you can see it. Uh but it's new in bag. I mean that that would I would call that a replacement. Probably put that on on eBay. I got some uh, a new new impact ink. It is uh, outdated, but uh, there are people that will still buy it that way. Again, just make sure that you put it in the description that it's whatever year it's from. Like I've mentioned before, any of these uh, golf heads I'll pick up. This is tailor made, an Odyssey, good condition. So we'll wait until we have enough of those, and then we'll do a little lot. Pink dogs. This is probably not much, but I'll also bundle this five or six together and uh, create a small loft. There are some though, be on the look at, there are some that uh, are quite rare and some of the bigger ones too can bring in, bring in a little bit more value than just the typical ones. This one here is pretty cool. It's a Toys R Us exclusive Imaginarium set it's like a cardboard kids play with make little figures out of uh, cardboard pieces so at a dollar 29 you know you're roughly around seven bucks for that set here and i've seen them go for 35 bucks so again it's not so much the value for me yes i want to make money and i want to continue doing what we're doing but i just hate to see it in the bins you know, uh, it looks complete. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Maybe I'll do an episode and I'll show you guys that stuff. But I want to get this to the right home. I'm sure there's a, a child out there that can definitely benefit from using this. So even though the one I saw on eBay was for 35 bucks, I'm okay doing 20 to 25 because my end cost or my, my cost of goods was at $7, 7 and some change after fees and all that stuff. As long as I can double up, I've got to test this out. It's a little Bosch chainsaw for kids, battery operated. So it, it's 69 cents a pound. So always separate your electronics from your, your normal stuff. You'll, you know, pay less for this stuff. Pick that up. Got a couple hats. Already gone. Clean already. So just a quick wipe down. I'll try to get 10 to 15 most. I pick up cases. My wife found this. 
electronic, again, paid separately, a nativity for little people, and so, somewhere in here, oh, here they are, we got all of them, I think we have the complete set, and I mean, those fly off the shelves every time we post them, 20 bucks, you know, 15 to 20 bucks, got all these little parts to it, found some suspenders, a little John Deere, I don't know what the value is on those, but, you know, again, they're don't cost me anything. And John Deere is just one of those niche that uh, you can't go wrong with. So that will be cool. I did pick up this as a replacement piece. It was on a, uh, a wrestling ring. And uh, the ring itself was cracked and broken. And so I figured I'll take this off and then I'll sell this as parts. Somebody might need it for to complete their set. And that's how I look at a lot of these smalls. And this bag here is just a bunch of little, I'm not going to go through all of it, but just to give you an idea what I'm picking out, you know, I know that goes to that set there. I pick up most action figures, anything Star Wars I'm going to pick up and I'll bundle that stuff together. These guys as well, the Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks, very popular. I'll bundle those up and try to do a dozen and they'll go together. Uh, just a bunch of these, I found a bunch of these little, little guys here. Uh... And they don't cost me anything, right? And it's very light. So we'll do a nice little set with everything that's in there. Pokemon, again, probably no value in none of these unless you got a nice Charizard. But, you know, that's that's rare in itself. Let alone finding it in the bins. But a nice stack of these. I can tell you if it's 100, 150 cards that I would do and maybe try to get, you know, 15, 20 bucks out of them. That's fine. And... If that fails online, then put, I'll put them on a garage sale. We'll do a yearly garage sale. And just for a couple bucks for a stack. You know, kids love that stuff. This is an interesting one. I don't know anything about it, so we'll Google Lens that later. But just showing you, it's uh, definitely a cool figure. Gotta be older. Toy Biz. Oh, there it is. 1992. Here's other figures that I like to look for. Fisher Price. Again, I don't, I, you know, I can't tell you that I know everything. I wish I did, but I don't. But if it looks cool enough, I'll I'll get it. You know, I'll just get it. Sooner or later, I'll find more things and I'll make a little bundle, a little playset. Playmobil, you can't go wrong. That's another brand that I like to grab items for, and then I'll put that into the container. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just I'm just grabbing toys. I mean, I've got cars. I've got you know shoes for this is probably a brat and i don't have the other one but we'll wait until we find it again and obviously this one is gonna they're, they made thousands of them right it's it's the same shoe so as soon as we find another one then we'll you know bundle that up and do a, a lot legos again I always get legos and put them into a bin so that's my haul that's what we that's what i picked up today so next we'll go to Daisy and see what she has to offer. Daisy, take it away. It's J. Crew Caprice shorts or pants. I like that sh pants. You like those pants? They're nice, huh? I'll say hi to the camera right there. Say what's up, YouTube. Say hi. You like my hair? Mm -hmm. So messy. Took my braids out. Some pink leggings. Suleika Sunita. The logo is in the back. And that's it. So while yeah. Daisy's doing that with her clothing, I'm over here trying to get my boxes ready for tomorrow. And that's how we work together. Families everywhere. You know, they're doing their thing. We're kind of doing this as well. And we're, we're working with our family, right? So Mommy they know what they want to do. Me did you find something personal at the Goodwill for yourself? Months. What did you find? What do you found to show? Sit over here and show them what you what you found. Oh wow, some nice Mickey and Minnie vans. My mom bought me these checker, shoes. checker like print these with the little fire yeah. flame on the sides. Beautiful. We're gonna clean them first. That's my shorts. You want these shorts too? Yeah. For swimming? Yeah. Humber yeah. Humber and Peach. I have a crombie and fish. I think that's a brand that's going to be coming up pretty soon Copy. too. Some leggings. Yeah. So I, I think anytime Good. you find it, you might want to look it up. Good condition. It's another crew neck. 
Those crew neck sweaters? They're, uh, yeah, crew necks. Pink crew neck sweater. Do you think pink is still some... a pretty good brand? Victoria's Secret stuff? Yeah. It's still doing pretty good? Mm hmm. With some shimmering. I must have been this or not. Shimmer? Glitter. Glitter. Glittery effect. And Sal got this one that it's ugly. But beautiful for him. That's fire. <laughs> See anything like this? This is what I like to pick up now. If I can't, there, it's a 2000, it's new, 2020, 19. so it's modern. But I think the graphics, a lot of people go for this kind of stuff. And, you know, we're not going to charge an arm and a leg for it. This will be a, you know, a $5 shirt. But if anything, it cost me probably 50 cents at the Goodwill bins. So even if I do $2, $2.50 at a garage sale, I'm still going to get my money back in a little extra, right? Uh, we're, we'll also create a box, a big box of... of uh, donations we call it me. and we send it to mexico and her mom over there does the same thing we do here she'll end up selling some of the stuff and uh she basically lives off that and, and that's the beauty of it you know we're all kind of eating from the same scenario right from the thrift say oopsie oopsie that's nice I got this one. That shirt's nice. This is Kiss. Kiss, yeah. And another pair of pants that I'm gonna sell. Me and my dad can match. My mother. Dad, me and you can match. Yeah, we can match. And I got a sleeping bag. Cute sleeping bag. For me? For me, Mom? I sold two already. $40. I have this $35. one. $35. I have this one. This, this one's smaller. Like a one? toddler. I want yeah. this one. I That's want probably this. like three bucks at most. Yeah. That you paid at the bin. I'll do like 25 on mom, this. I want this. Maybe 20. No, mom, I want this. This is too small no, for you. This is for a toddler. You're not a toddler. Let me, let me cut your eye on. It's going to slip no. This is dirty, mama. Dirty. And I got these ones for my little brat. Dominic? Oh. <laughs> so like, I mean, so Nayla, look at these fans. I like those. Those are vintage fans. Got wow. another pair of shorts, Ma. Nike. Ma. Money. Ma. I sell this for $20. $20? bucks. twenty dollars Hardly so like Ma. three pairs of these kind of sweatpants, sweat shorts. Sweat shorts. Sweat shorts. Just put a load. Okay, let me get ready then. This is the bolo. That's what you say? Bolo. bolo. Be on the lookout. That's be what bolo means. Be on the means. lookout. Patatagonia. 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 Those are pretty good. Right? Her <laughs> money. And it's a size a large, perfect size. No flaws, yeah, no ribs, ribs, no stains. Pretty good condition. Pretty good. It's a neat. And this American Eagle denim jacket. I believe it's women's, no? Oh, yeah. This is like women's, like an oversized denim jacket. Yeah, it's an oversized, so it's small. Do you do pretty good with like that, even though it's summertime? Or like, uh, will it sit a little longer for you? It will sit, but I can't leave it. Eventually, you'll sell? I couldn't leave it. It's hard for me yeah. to leave something behind. Overalls nice. for a little guy nine months this is cute for my mother i got this what is it called? Demons supplies from 
Ralph Lauren. Mm-hmm. It's cute. Little beads. <laughs> Mom, look! <laughs> Mom, look! Yeah. Uh, and this, I got this, but I don't know. There's more patches. And it's got patches should. all over, though. Just look up and then. Oopsie. I got this sweater from Disney. Uh, Ohana. Moana. Uh, Ohana. Moana. Mom! What's that called? Coco? What am I just? Little Stitch. Look! Put some shorts. Mom, my booty big. American Eagle. Mom. You know, shorts. And that's what you have to look at. Shorts. Neck. Dad, mm -hmm. look. I think nice. they were pants. They were pants, but they made them shorts. They cut them up. Yeah, they cut them up. Mom, look. But still. Mom. You can always fold it. Be that my booty can be big like this. Mm. <laughs> but it's going to be very short. This cute that's top. That's my shorts. <laughs> that it's not Louis Vuitton, but it looks like Louis Vuitton. This Nike top for workout. Size large. Size large. So this is going to be one of those, uh, God. it's called Deadly Dames. And it's kind of like a like a <laughs> steampunk vintage look. I think it'll do good. It's one of those challenges where I put stuff in there and Daisy will say, that's not going to sell. But I usually me. prove her wrong. It's too big for me. I want to pop this. There's, There's an one of unboxing. Eggs. That's pretty cool. What is this? This is for like Christmas, no? It's, uh, it's a Christmas. 1993. It's a, 1993, yeah. I like popping. And you can put the light right there and you're going to see the little light. Nice. I see the I got some Pyrex. <gasps> Give me like more. The, more. The collars. Nice. And we got bubble wrap. Okay, so again, wrap. if you keep saying it, grab the bubble wrap. Grab the bubble, the wrap. bubble wrap. It's we don't need it. pennies and pennies Black and you're going to use it for shipping. It. And we got this. A little Star Wars mug. Nice. Mug life. I don't like Star Wars. We started the mug life. I don't like Star mm -hmm. Wars. Mr. Nice good old thing. Gary V. And then we found another goodies. There we go. House. Another Christmas decor. Which brand is that one? Um, Remember? Department 56. Alright, what else you got in there? Couple Tupperware. We got things for a pizza. A little pizza cutter. Oh, that's cool. What do you got there? You got a comic? Found a comic. Cool. Nice. Okay, yeah. Tupperware. Vintage Tupperware. Vintage Tupperware. It's stuck. And that's okay. It's rim. And oh, we got more cups. Mine and that's yours. Perfect. You can swipe it. Look. But this is going in yours. For the house. And we got some jewelry. Yay. New jewelry. So we found that box and it's basically I think somebody it's somebody's leftover garage sale stuff that they probably didn't sell or they were tired of selling. They still have all the prices that they were selling at at the garage sale. So this box to me was a four dollar box. It cost me four dollars at the Goodwill bin. I'm literally just gonna take that and we'll probably either make a good lot, just put it on the table and put it on Poshmark or something and, and ask for 30 bucks for everything. Or we'll do here a garage sale and just say everything in the box, 50 cents an item, right? And, and so you're gonna, you're gonna get your $4 back really quickly and somebody's gonna get some really cool stuff. Oh, okay. I mean, it has little owls, or like little owls with earrings. That's what I'm saying, it's just, just a lot of cool stuff. It's like, you know, so this oh is almost five God. bucks. I mean, that's that's a nice little, what do you call that? Is this like costume it. jewelry maybe? Yeah, costume jewelry. The cosplay, costume jewelry. All right. And then we got some 
Dolce Vita. This is the snake boot. boots. We got a lot of New Balance shoes. New Balance? But they need a clean. Vans? They need a clean. I should have saw them today. This Somebody out there that can use a, a good pair of used shoes, right? With some Crocs. Why buy new all the time? As soon as you put them on your feet, they're used. You know, and so as long as the soles are still usable, 15 to 20 bucks on these shoes is, is great. You know, got some Crocs. <laughs> got some Vans, some Converse. I mean, this is all from the Goodwill bins, guys. This is all by the pound, right? This, this is a couple bucks. You know, so doing a great job modeling. What else is in there? Something. Oh. What is that? Some shorts? Some nice. Shorts. This Sam... Sam Edelman. Sam Edelman. Yeah, it's a good so. brand. Okay. Alright, well that's that's uh, Daisy's haul. So Alright, well that was the haul for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, when we do these Goodwill hauls, they do take a little longer to kind of get the point out, you know, of trying to dig through the bins. And, uh... I know that I could do a lot of cutscenes and go right to the point and eventually I'll probably do that. But I think that in order to give you, the viewer, if you're new to the the outlets or the bins, I think you kind of need to understand and, and kind of see that it there's, there's points in time, like the first part of it, I didn't find anything. I mean, I dug and dug and dug and it's probably like a minute and a half where nothing was happening, right? And... And I left that in there for that same purpose of, you know, you as a new new watcher or new to the game of, of thrifting or sourcing that it takes some time. I think it was about a couple hours worth of me and my wife in the, in the bins trying to provide you this content. And in reality, you see it in about five minutes and that's not reality, right? So I just want to give that perception of, when you're at the bins, be patient. Look through things, move things around, dig, lift up stuff, push it, slide it, do whatever you need to do, right? And look for the smalls, the things that I'm trying to teach you that I look for. It's not what everybody looks for, I get it. It's not, uh, it's not the intent, it's just giving you another option, another view. That's the content that we want to really deliver to you is the the small bread and butter options, the items that you'll find pretty common. Um, and you'll see some of the posts that I have here or here of the items that we've sold. We we want to share so that you do if you do see these things, you're better honed to or you know, your eyes will see that from afar and know like, oh, I'm gonna grab this and I'll sell it later. So again, I appreciate your time. Thank you again. Uh, we're working on a different series of, of, of videos that we wanna do. I think that uh, the whole point of all this is to be informative enough to give you the skills. If you're a beginner and if you're just a seasoned veteran, you might see something that uh, you haven't done in a while and refresh yourself or you may comment and let us know, you know, some other angles because we're also in the in the game to learn as much as we can this new series that i that i kind of want to do it's, it's out there people do it um it's kind of what's sold right uh but i think that if we can do that for you of kind of a recap of maybe i show 10 items that i sold during the week and daisy shows 10 items that she sold in the week that's going to cut right to the chase right that's going to tell you like okay here's what i sold how i found it how much i paid what i got out of it and that might be a lot more value to you. So that'll be towards the end of the week on a Saturday or Sunday. Uh, these haul videos will try to, you know, populate one, maybe two during the week. But just providing content, I really want to dissect it and give you value to it. So if it's just one during the week and then that recap of what's sold at the end of the week, I think that might be the way to go for us. Uh, so that we can provide that information. Again, I appreciate your time. I know these are long and, and they, they'll shorten up. I promise you that. Uh, but again, if you're getting value out of it, let me know below. Do a little comment. Subscribe if you feel like it's an opportunity for you guys to learn it, you know, alongside us. And uh, there you go. I appreciate. Thank you.